In the last videos, we looked at implementing and customizing slicers. Now we're going to look at a different type of slicer called a timeline. A timeline allows us to slice different time frames into our dashboard. So we can select a wide range or a small range, and our dashboard will adjust accordingly. It works just like the other types of filters, except it functions on a date value. The first step to implement this will be go to Insert, Timeline, and we'll go to our data model, and we'll choose our tables in the workbook data. Under our Temp Order Detail table, go to More Fields and Order Date. We could also filter by order month or order year, but since order date is actually the days in the most granular date field, let's go ahead and select that. So now we have a timeline, but it's currently not connected to anything. So in order to connect it to our data, what we'll need to do is choose right click and report connections. And we'll need to connect it to those pivot tables. The pivot four pivot table four dashboard is the most recent quarter sales rep, so it won't actually affect that table. So we don't need to select it but it won't hurt if you do. Click OK. And now we should have a fully functional timeline. So we can choose one date up to as many as we'd like. Or we can clear the filter and choose all of them again. So this month's view is a little hard to work with. You can see we have a lot of months here and we have to scroll a lot to get there. But what we can do is go to quarters, in which case we can select three months at a time, and it'll all fit in this space. So depending on the level of granularity you need, you can choose your preference here. So now that we've inserted our timeline, now let's format it. We'll go up to Timeline Tools, click Options, and then under the Timeline Styles box, we'll choose New Timeline Style. We'll just call it Dashboard Timeline. And then for our table elements, we can customize each one just like our slicers. So we'll click on our first element, Whole Timeline, and format it. We'll choose the same background fill as our dashboard. And let's also get rid of the border. Click OK. And then we can see when we click OK that the style appears up here. Now with this chart, with the timeline selected, we just click on the dashboard timeline style and it applies here. So let's finish customizing this. We'll right click on the style and click modify. Let's now customize our header. We'll format it. First the font to be white or just off white and bold. We'll click OK. We can see up here our header has been Header color has been changed. That'll reflect on the order date here. The selection level, time level, level, period, labels, those will change our labels here above our timeline. So we're going to change all of these to off white text. Time level font off white. And click OK. We can see that updated. Now let's go back and finish our formatting our bar to modify and choose selected time block format. This will be the part that is selected and to go along with our slicers we should color it. We should fill it with a light gray. Click OK. And our unselected time block just like our unselected slicers, we should probably fill that with a darker gray. So just lighter than our actual background. Click OK and OK. So now this matches a lot better with our styles. Of course, it's functional and now it looks good. So we've completed the functionality of our dashboard 
and the customization of all the features. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to utilize hyperlinks if we need to drill down into other sheets or even other documents.